good morning jackie good morning everybody guys let's do what we do best we share we like and we share and we make sure we are populating the kingdom of god we are going to populate the kingdom of god with every soul that we can find that we can track that we can share this broadcast with on tiktok and on facebook and on youtube any platform that you know that the lord wants to speak to somebody today hallelujah god is gonna do a new divine thing hallelujah i want you as you are coming in to type the following words turn it around and type your country where you are watching me from so as you are coming in the way you introduce yourself today you are saying turn it around ghana turn it around south africa turn it around guyana turn it around zambia come on somebody i see some of you are using your flags i need you to say turn it around and you mention the name of your country come on somebody hallelujah god we are grateful we are thankful for this morning father we thank you for everything that you are about to do we thank you for the lives that are about to be changed father we are thanking you for the turnaround that is coming in for our countries we, we thank you lord for the turnaround that we are about to experience in the mighty name of jesus christ father we thank you for the turnaround that we are about to experience in our houses we thank you for the turnaround that is we are about to experience in our careers in our lives in every fear my god in every sphere of our lives environments everything good morning mara official good morning everybody on youtube and facebook and i'm so grateful that you are here this morning thank you so much that you have allowed me the opportunity and the privilege to be in your house in your car maybe you are at your workplace and you are listening to me maybe you are on your way to your workplace hallelujah and you can hear the sound of my voice the sound of my voice today will resonate with what the holy spirit says the sound of my voice this morning will bring a turnaround come on somebody i want somebody to lift up the voice and worship God this morning as we open and praise him and worship him and give him all the glory. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are an awesome father. We thank you that you are an awesome God. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you're about to do in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for the things you're about to do in our countries. Somebody please keep on making sure that you are typing, turn it around. Turn it around. God is going to turn it around. As you are saying, turn it around, you put the name of your country because we want to speed this up. I want to ask you to to please uh, share the live and if you are new on my broadcast i'm asking that you are also following the platform that you are seeing my face on and you click on the like button you participate in the comment section because the holy spirit needs you to demand place a demand on the holy spirit place a demand on the word that you are expecting god for it this morning talk to me somebody hallelujah turn it around oh god turn it around in the mighty name of jesus christ turn it around turn it around in the mighty name of jesus christ i want you to lift up your voice to the almighty and cry it aloud and say turn it around come on somebody let's pick up the pace guys we are getting many the population is getting many the souls are getting many we are sharing the life at least share with one person it doesn't cost your data anything it doesn't cost anything but god will be pleased with you because you are doing what is at the heart of god and that is soul winning come on somebody every tap every share is a soul that can potentially be won every tap every share this this word can potentially reach somebody who was about to give up this word can potentially reach somebody who was about to commit suicide this word can potentially reach somebody who was about to give up the ghost and say that i'm leaving this planet earth come on somebody i'm telling you there is a world 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 changing word that is coming you are going to become a world changer by the end of these prayers those of you who are coming in for the first time this is the protocol breaking prayer platform hallelujah this is the altar where we pray protocol breaking prayers and god turns things around Around. come on somebody father today father change my situation father anoint my lips anoint everything concerning me everything concerning my life in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit i thank you for opening up the heavens opening up the doors of heaven my god i thank you for opening up every gates of limitation for every single person that is on this place come on turn it around houston turn it around grenada come on somebody i want to see who's turning it around is south africa being turned around for jesus this morning come on guys is 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 Jamaica being turned around for Jesus. Come on, turn it around. 
Turn it around, Zambia. Come on, somebody. Turn it around, Bumalanga. Turn it around, Cape Town. Turn it around, USA. Turn it around, South America. Turn it around, South Af oh, South Africa. I see in there. They are in there, many. Turn it around in Mississippi. Come on, somebody. Somebody is turning it around in Uganda this morning. Somebody is turning it around in Nigeria this morning. Oh, my God. My God. Glory to the living God. Turn it around. Father, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. God is turning it around in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Turn it around. Turn it around. I see you, Pumalanga. You are saying you are turning it around. I see you, Congo. I see you everywhere. Everywhere you are tuning it from. Turning it around, Ghana. Thank you so much. As I said, I welcome every single person. If it's the first time you are seeing me, thank you so much for giving me a follow already. I see some of you are already following and please turn on your notification bell. What I'm, one thing I can tell you is that your life will never be the same again. Definitely by the end of this broadcast, I'm asking you to give me just one hour. One hour to deliver what heaven sent me to do this morning. I want you to pray. I want you to participate in every word. And I know that God is going to turn around your sorrows into joy. Come on, somebody. Father, turn it around. I want you to shout it out in the comment section. Turn it around. Turn around my situation. Today, Father, I'm here this morning on this protocol breaking prayer platform to say, Lord, turn it around. Open up your mouth and pray right now and say today father change my situation i don't know if you like your situation or not but i want to i want you to say lord change my situation and can somebody please uh, share the live broadcast so that you can change somebody uh, somebody's life around as well come on mara official i need everybody to be awake this morning come on talk to me open up your mouth and pray today father change my situation everything that is hopeless in my life uh, change every hopeless situation in my life uh, in the mighty name of jesus christ uh, father god I, i'm believing you lord that every door that has been shut against us oh god is going to open up this morning in jesus mighty name sasobek is turning it around there is a door that is opening up in sasobek talk to me somebody lord god is changing around your hopeless situation god is saying every door that has been shut that has been a door that is supposed to be bringing you goodness is being opened in jesus mighty name brazil is saying they are changing their situation this morning in the name of jesus christ change my situation today can you keep on declaring it can you keep on declaring it as i'm saying it to you as well as i'm saying it i'm standing in agreement that your situation is changing in the name of jesus christ father change my situation make the impossible to be possible today father during this this service during this prayer session my god you're gonna turn every situation that looked like an impossibility and you're gonna make it a possibility come on somebody somebody needs to shout in the comment section and say bring me out of prison today bring me out of captivity today and say i'm coming Coming out, bring me out, bring it out, bring me out. Bring me out, Holy Spirit. Bring me out and turn it around. Bring me out and turn my situation around. Almighty God, shake the prison doors open today. Shake the prison doors open today. Remove any enemy that has been guarding the, 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 the post. Yeah. Whoever is guarding the door, whoever is guarding the gate, whoever is saying that I will not reach my destiny, my God, turn it around. My God, whoever was about to make a decision that was to my predicament, my God, I thank you. You are turning it around. Talk to me, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to push in the spirit. I see Brazil is pushing the spirit and they're saying they are turning it around and they're changing that situation. Father, whatever you have planned, whatever evil that they have planned, I know that your plans supersede their plans in the name of Jesus Christ concerning me and my situation, concerning the situation of every single person that is at the sound of my voice. Fa Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you are changing their situation. My God, every single person who's tapping in the comment section and crying out loud to you, my God, and saying, I did not come to play. I came to pray and Lord as they begin to pray in the comment section and they are saying Lord change my situation around father I thank you Lord that you are meeting them at the point of their need my God meet that person who's saying I did not come here to joke but I came for a change of situation and I'm not leaving with my situation not being changed change my situation for the better I'm not coming in the same way that I came change my sorrow to joy my God can somebody say it and, and declare it and confess it and stand in agreement with me can somebody shift 
shift the limitations of protocols? Can somebody provoke heaven to change and shift your protocols this morning? Change my situation for the better, God. Change my sorrow into joy, O oh God. Change my darkness into light, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, I'm crying out to you this morning. Let my cries be heard in heaven this morning. Change my situation today. Change my situation. Stretch forth your mighty hand, O oh God, and shake every door open in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single door that has been shut against me, my God, I know that you are touched by the afflictions of the people, that any infirmity that I'm going through, my God, that you are touched by it, my God, as we cry out to you, Lord, and we're saying it, that we are asking for a change of situation, God, we know that you hear our cries in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every single door is being opened in Jesus' mighty name. Every good door is being opened for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every foundation of the prison is being broken right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we lose ourselves from any foundational limitation and that would say well, our situations will not be turned around. Father, oh God, we confess and profess and, in, and, and decree and we declare and we pray it out loud, Lord. Oh God, we are crying out, Lord, turn it around, turn around our situation. Let our foundations receive a repair. That crack that has been uh, uh, there, my God, repair it, oh God. Father God, uproot what does not need to be there. And Father, get us rooted in what we need to be rooted in, in Jesus' mighty name. I hear the Spirit of the Lord proclaiming and confessing it again and saying, confess it. Tell, it. tell them to confess it again and say, turn it around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every single destiny, my God, that has been pro resounding of any evil hand, any evil hand that has been speaking against your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, I declare and I decree you are being loose from that situation right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every foundation of evil, every altar of evil, every shine of evil, every covenant of evil that has been saying that, Lord, they will not be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy unto their lives that they shall be loose from every limitation, loose from every impossibility as you turn around their situations in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you that you are changing it today. Almighty God, as we cry out to you and as we still confess it in the comment section and we say, Lord, turn it around. Come to our rescue, oh God. Let your mighty hand of power be stretched out to help us fight in this battle. My God, this battle we will not have to fight. And Lord, we declare this morning, we are saying, turn it around. Father, we have no one else but you. We don't have any other options. We're not going to run to anybody else. Lord, fight our battles for us today. Somebody say it again and say, change my situation. You need to shout it seven times and say, change my situation. 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 Echo it as many times as you need to and let your, change, your situation change for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ and as you continue to confess it I see your situation changing for the better in Jesus mighty name God bless you Anna in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we pray, we can see that the darkness is fleeing. Our darkness is changing to light in Jesus' mighty name. Every prison door that has been shut is turning it around. Somebody shout in the comment section and say, turn the tide around. The tide is turning. Somebody's in a storm. You understand that storms are involving, uh, they involve tides. The tide is turning. The Lord is saying the tide is turning. Turn the tide, O oh Lord. Turn the tide, O oh Lord. Turn the tide, O oh King of glory. Somebody needs to shout it. Turn the tide around in Jesus' mighty name. Those things that we have been waiting for, Lord, let us receive them today. Let us receive them today. Come on, somebody, somebody shout to the Lord and say, God, let me receive what I've been waiting for. Let me receive. That is your prayer and that is your confession right now. That is your declaration right now. Let me receive it. Let me receive it. That's why I've come to pray this morning. I did not come to joke and I did not come to stare at other people. I came so that my situation can change. I came so that I can receive what you have set aside for me. The word that is going to prophetically speak and confirm something in my spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I came to receive results. Somebody say, let me receive results this morning. Lord, let me receive results. Can you confess with me? Can you pray along with me? Can you declare the word of God with me? Come on, somebody. Somebody prophesy into your situation and say, let me receive results in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, let me receive results in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout it again in the comment section and say, Lord, turn it around. 
Oh God, it's my time to shine. It's my time to shine. This is my time. This is my turn. This is my time. It's my time to shine. That God, as I open up my mouth, fill my mouth, oh God, so that my situation changes, so that my life begins to shine. God, you are a God of answered prayers. My God, anytime we need help, anytime we need an uplifting, we know that it is only you who is the solution. And Father, we have come on this altar of prayer this morning to say, Lord, we are unlocking with our mouth that you have given my God. You are going to uplift us, oh God, in every single prayer. My God, you are the God of everything. You have the final say. Father, we ask that you speak every favor concerning our lives into our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, as I pray and I stand in agreement to everybody who is at the sound of my voice and who is listening to me right now, my God, I release blessings into their lives. I release the showers of blessings in their lives. I release the blessings and the miraculous that they've been waiting for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask, Lord, that you grant every heart's desire in their heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single burden is being turned into a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you came here carrying, whatever you came here, that has been a challenge. God bless those who are giving. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask, oh God, fill their mouth, oh God, make their lives shine with favor all around in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy that you are going to experience a shower of blessing as you begin to confess and say it around and say, Lord, turn it around in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will grant you your heart's desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I speak to any ancestral power that has been holding back anybody's blessing that is at the sound of my voice. My God, every single ancestral power, I command the destruction of those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those powers to set you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, light every path in their life in Jesus' mighty name. I'm speaking to that person who needs the rekindling in their life and you have been going but you have been seeing that it's dark and you are saying it's not clear. It looks like confusion has entered my life. It looks like despair has entered my life. The Lord sent me this morning to tell you that God is lighting up your path. Somebody declare and say, light up my path in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord saying, I will mend anything that you be, feel that it's a lapse in your life. Lord, cover them, Lord, with your divine power. My God, let your divine power overshadow them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, any lapse is mended. Any heart is broken in Jesus' mighty name. My God, oh God, money is a necessity. Somebody woke up this morning and say, I came for a financial breakthrough. I came for a financial reception. I came for a financial miracle. My God, if they are cry, is that on finances that they need to be changed around? My God, as they begin to declare right now, oh my God, if they are saying, turn around my finances, my God, bless that person in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, oh Karabashonda, guys, this is not a spectator game. This is a real thing. This is life. Life 1.0. For you, if you are turning it around and you are repenting and you are coming, if this is your 2.0. Let it be your 2.0. But let your money, I want to dare somebody to say, let it be a complete overhaul, a change of the operating system in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I'm here crying out and I'm saying, Lord, you know, our money is a necessity. Money is a voice. Money is a defense. I'm here to cry out, Lord, and say, God, turn around my finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Grant me the financial breakthroughs that I woke up for this morning. Father, break every protocol to ensure that my finances are, are progressing in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, uh, break every protocol to ensure that my pocket will never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I believe and I decree and I declare and I receive it. I know that during this broadcast, my God, my situation is going to be turned around for the better. My God, I believe that you are turning my sorrow into joy. Somebody is about to celebrate in this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your name is Juanita. Kanama Soto Koli Abahasakata. The Lord has said to me, in the next 24 hours, you will have a breakthrough in the finances that you have been waiting for in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the name called Michael. Michael, your name is Justin. Michael and Justin, the Lord is saying, I'm sending a rain, a shower of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
around uh, these names I'm calling, the Lord, I'm seeing uh, a, a reign of blessings in the area of finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, uh, you are about to remove uh, sorrow, my God, every sorrowful emotion. My God, I thank you, Lord. There's a lifting that is happening. You are changing things around. Somebody shout in the comment section and say, uh, turn it around, oh God, turn it around, turn, turn it around in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Susan is your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as I look in the prophetic side, as I look in the spirit realm, my God, Susan, the Lord is saying, I am healing your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. This is not just an emotional healing, but the Lord is saying that there has been an inconsistent murmuring in your heart in terms physically. I'm talking about a heart condition that is trying to develop right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. On your left breast, you are feeling like it's an it's like a stabbing pain that is consistent. It's like needles that are going one, two, three, one, two, three. Right now, I speak to that situation right now, my God. I ask for your healing power to, re to resonate on that person right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be an electrifying magnet that goes into that place, my God, and fixes every vessel, my God. I command every vessel to operate the way you intended it to, to operate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody shout? Turn it around. We did not come to play this morning. We came to glorify God. We came to cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, turn it around in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Oh, Temba, you have been experiencing a lot of intense sorrow in your life. You are feeling like there is nothing joyful. There is nothing to be glorifying God for. Right now, I speak to that intensity of sorrow and I command the intensity of joy to enter your life in Jesus' mighty name. Miriam, as I speak to Temba right now, your name pops up again. I speak. Julia, I uproot that intense sorrow. I uproot that intense sorrow in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to everybody who has suffered the sorrow of marriagelessness, everybody who has suffered the sorrow of being jobless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that person who has suffered the sorrow of financial death. My God, I ask for a repair. I see the Lord. I see it physically. There is a repair. There has been a crack right there in the foundation, and I see the foundations coming together. I see the crack coming around, and the Lord, by the time the crack comes around, the Lord says, I'm not putting a band-aid but I'm putting in a whole new floor it's not a usual name, but your name is called fervent. Turn it around, God. Who are you turning it around for? I'm turning around for Rhoda in the name of Jesus Christ. Rhoda, your spirit is open. The Lord is saying, I'm confirming it in the name of Jesus Christ. A new foundation. I prophesy to you, Catherine, you will be able to pay your expenses. You will not lose your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command help to come to your household right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray over your life under the unction and everything that I'm hearing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your bands be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to everything that you have been looking at and saying, God, I feel like I'm being depleted. I feel like I'm being emptied. My God, you don't have food in your house. The Lord says, I am your provider. I am your gyra. I'm about to show you my goodness. I'm about to remind you who I am in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalama shoto kore hese. I don't know whose name is Jezreel, but the Lord said, I'm touching, I'm changing your situation. Jezreel, I'm changing your situation. 
Ona mak yamaso ni yamasa taki yamande ni yamase. There is a gentleman called your name is Daniel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the Lord says, I'm still able and you will be able to restore. Your family shall not fall apart. It is not time for you to walk away. You have been having thoughts of walking away because you've been saying that you cannot provide for your family and you want to walk away because you're saying, God is too much. I cannot do it. I need the finger of God to touch my situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Diseto is your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The heavens, I have heard your cry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, please forgive me. I know I'm not looking at what you are saying. I cannot say because I'm I'm just keyed in and I'm seeing names that are flashing. And I believe that God, as God is confirming as your name is being called. Right now, the Lord is confirming that there is a situation turn around these are immediate i'm talking about immediate changes that are happening right now in jesus mighty name and something is leaping in your spirit man your heart is even beating faster to confirm this if that is you in the comment section please go ahead right now i'm not interested in anything that is human around me or anything that is earthly around me i am going deeper in and i'm saying god release my god that assurance these are people who were at the point of breakdown these were people who were at the point of saying i don't believe this thing anymore Nzaro, N-D-Z-A-R-O, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, guys. I'm being flooded with names. I'm being flooded with names. I'm trying to continue. My God, but I just want to prophesy a change of situation. Please continue to say, turn it around, my God. I feel, a, I feel a spirit of heaviness. There's a spirit of sorrow that has been just weighing you down. There's been a spirit that has been weighing you down. Julia, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. As I stretch out my hands, Julia, I want you to stretch out your hands and touch my hands and immediately touch your chest. My God. Your cries, the way you have been even, it's a, it's a cry of weeping because you can't even breathe anymore right now. E kalabahasa. Turn it around, oh God. I stop that miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ right now. I speak against that miscarriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it around. Turn it around, my father. The Lord is turning around every form of barrenness. The Lord is tearing around your loneliness. Mm. Sarah, you have been in your marriage, but you still feel like you are alone doing this thing. You don't feel like he's participating because he has switched off. He's not even around. He's not talking to you. You have been wondering and saying, God, did I get married to just feel alone like this? Shakura bahasa takadiaba. Jewel, your name is Jewel. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Father God. Speak to those that you will want to speak to in Jesus' mighty name. This is very strange. This has never happened. There is somebody, you are in Calabar. And you have been trying. And your papers, you have been submitting your papers, your immigration papers. And you have been rejected six times. I speak and I prophesy that upon the relevance and the significance of the number seven, 
biblically in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in that application you will be granted your immigration application will be approved in the name of Jesus because I see you you are crying you are saying God all I want is to change my situation I want to change the situation of my family in the name of Jesus Christ I'm also speaking to somebody the color of your house it's not exactly yellow it's rusty outside in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there is a veranda with two pillars right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you often sit outside and stand outside of the veranda it is in a village and you look out and you're saying my God will I ever get out of this place will I ever amount to anything and you have watched your friends who have left before and who have traveled before and who have gone and they've made a success of your life and you feel like you are useless right now because you are saying you are in fact you are staying with your mother now you are only left with your mother you don't have a father in the house I don't know what has happened whether your father has passed on or anything but I see your mother it's a two-bedroom house it's not well lit in side hallelujah because you have been saying it, my mother is feeling like your mother has lost all hope you feel like you often say to yourself that my mother has even lost hope i don't know who i'm talking to in the name of jesus christ somebody say turn it around Turn it around, God. Turn it around. Turn it around. Change my situation. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. I saw somebody who, who confirmed that they're in Ghana and you confirmed the house that I described. Turn it around, oh God. Change my situation. Turn it around, oh God. Father, I came for you to move my protocols. Any protocol that has been inhibiting. Oh, la, 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 la. Every hindrance removed in Jesus' mighty name. Change my situation around. Thank you, Jesus. Makura Bahasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Turn it around, God. Father, we declare and we decree that there's going to be a turnaround. There's going to be a change of situations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every financial debt, my God. Cancelled. Every financial debt. You are coming out of the financial debts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command a turnaround in the area of barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every failure, my God, of any application that was supposed to be approved, my God, as it's being resubmitted, my God, there's going to be a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, as I shout in the comment section and I declare and decree with them and I stand in agreement with them and I say, turn it around, God. I'm standing in agreement with the person who's saying, Lord, turn around the affliction of the those who are sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness in your body i command a turn around in the name of jesus christ there is somebody who has been having pelvic pains in the mighty name of jesus christ i speak healing you have been having a, a, an, a, an extreme pressing on your pelvic pains on your pelvic area there is a serious pressing on it in the name of jesus christ turn it around turn it around in jesus mighty name Somebody, you have been having pain in your feet, right in your feet. And the feet that you have been, your feet are normally very hot. They heat up a lot. <coughs> even when it's cold, especially in the morning when you wake up, you can't even walk. The Lord says he's healing your womb, uh, your womb in the womb area. It's a female person. Hallelujah. All the organs around your womb, your bladder, your kidneys have been affected. Shakura Bahasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for confirming your healings in Jesus mighty name. God can turn it around. 
turn it around, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, thank you so much for confirming that pelvic uh, area pain. That pain is Akadia Basanda. Thank you so much, everybody. Kora Basanda Diamasa Katakadia Baha. Thank you, well changer. Thank you for confirming. There is God that speaks. Thank you so much. God bless you. So I, I saw that testimony. Turn it around in Jesus' mighty name. Shamila, I, 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 I prophesy favor upon that application for your um, immigration in Jesus' mighty name. Sid, Makura Bahasa, Kalnamando Diamasa. Thank you, Jesus. And they have the audacity to come and say that God is not real. I don't know what is more real. I don't know what is more real than the God that will confirm things like this. Sid, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Wealth changer, receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, God, I see it. Thank you, Jesus. Do you understand why he performs the miraculous? Do you understand why he brings a word? He brings a word so that the doubters can see these testimonies. I have pinned two testimonies just now on both platforms on TikTok so that I can prove to the naysayer, so that I can show you that our God is alive and our God is a God that heals. <laughs> My God. And they said Jesus is not real. And they called him a prophet and they called him everything else. But he is the Lord God Almighty. He said at the pronouncement of my name, when you call my name, I step into that situation and I turn it around in Jesus' mighty name. Please do not use crying emoji. I don't want our, our, our broadcast to be limited. There's already enough enemies we are fighting who are trying to, to frustrate us. My God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Do it for your people, oh God. Do it for your people, oh God. Let me leave the comment section and just do what God wants. Mm. That academic failure, that repeated academic failure that you have been experiencing david you have failed the, the same module three times you have been failing the same module three times you are unable to graduate because of it i speak to also that person you have there's one module outstanding one module And you are asking yourself, did I even waste my parents' money? Because I have been at this course for so many years. I have been doing this degree, but I'm unable because of one thing. Okay, Lord. Thank you. I hear it. I hear it. One of you, it is a, it, you are in the area of the commercial, it's a commercial degree. Amplified, oh God. Amplified, oh my God. Amplified, Lord. Amplified, my God. Father, I speak to every disappointment in every relationship. I decree and I declare a turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. As I'm looking, I'm looking for what to pin. I'm looking for the ones who are testifying. I know it's moving fast, but I want you to testify. I want you to shame the devil. You will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for confirming. Thank you for that declaration. In the name of Jesus. Every single disappointment that you have heard in, in your relationship, in your marriage, I want you to declare it right now and say, Lord, turn it around. And mention your specific situation and say, Lord, turn it around. Oh, Ramayasa Konyama Sote. 
Ya la 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 masa Benzo, are you the one for the academic? Makoda Bashinia Masota, thank you for confirming. In the name of Jesus Christ. La mo namashika niya masi. Ya da 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 oh my god, I cannot even pin that testimony the way it went so fast. God bless you, Benzo, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kariya baso kamando i kalama soto kodiya masi. Rashi koda masanda dia masande dia masi. I see somebody who all ma kodiya masa takariya basa. Oh, Jesus, my God, I thank you, Lord, for healing Sandra in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that that pelvic pain has gone immediately and instant. I told you, these are instant. The Lord is telling me these are instant in the name of Jesus Christ. Kalabashunda, Kalamaya, Sandra. Benzo, I saw the confirmation on the academics in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalabashunda, Kida Mahasa. Thank you, Jesus. Every delay for getting married, my God, I speak to the foundation. I say, turn it around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it around every charm that has been uh, uh, cast, every curse that has been placed, that you are going to have delays in your marriages. I see a family. There is one son in that family and the rest of you are girls and all of you have gotten married only after the age of 40. There has been a consistent delay and I see the enemy trying to place an embargo and saying the fruits of your womb will go through the same delay. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that delay. I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has also experienced the same in your families, there has been a constant delay. There are few people who have only gotten Omakoda Bashanda. No one in your family has ever gotten married before they have turned 35 in Jesus' mighty name there has been a marital delay and always there is a delay in terms of your conception because you reach the age of 50 and you have still not conceived my god i break that spell of delay in the mighty name of jesus christ i break that spell of delay I command those wombs to become fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Satisfy them early, my God. Satisfy them early in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your youth, my God, let them rejoice and be parents in their youth in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for confirming. Thank you those who are confirming all these things that I'm saying in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God is not a liar. My God is not a man that he should lie. My God is a man that he, that he's not only a man, but he's a God. He's all that. I will rejoice and be glad. My God. I will give you praise and I will worship you in advance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those who have who have been going through there's been violence in your marriage. You have been suffering violence. I see the person who's been punched, but what I'm seeing more is the verbal exchange of words. Diana, Joshua, Dennis. These names that I'm mentioning, you have you have been exchanging a lot of 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 verbal verbal fights verbal fights there's just been a turmoil there's been fighting in your marriage it's it's like there's never you don't even want to go home anymore oh jesus father i speak and i i ask and i cry out lord for healing of marriages i ask oh god i pray lord for healing in the area of marriages oh god in the name of jesus christ healing 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 
healing. Philip, your, your, your wife has been crying because of your substance abuse. My God. The level of drinking has gotten to such a point that you are not even going to work regularly anymore. It has gotten to such a point that your physical health is starting to be affected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you have been convincing yourself. I want to speak to the gentleman every time you are leaving the house and you are saying you are going to work and you are not going to work because you go and you go into the beer, I don't know if you call it a beer parlor or a tavern or whatever you call it in your country, but you hang out with your friends and your family is thinking you are actually going to work. And you actually came to the broadcast because you think this whole thing about Christianity and prayer is actually a joke. You came to actually, you to make a mockery on this broadcast. And the Lord is saying, I must tell you that he meant, he's mentioning your case specifically because he wants to show you that it's not a mockery. And what I see is that there is a warning. You are going to get sick. As I'm speaking to you right now, let me describe you. Your lips are not actually chapped. The bottom lip, you are actually starting to see it's, there's a discoloration that has already started happening on your bottom lip. Thank you, Jesus. The sickness will not be unto death. But it is a situation. He says, I am going to allow it fortune so that I can prove to him. That, I, I, that, that, that when he came on this broadcast, he came to hear it ahead for me to give him a chance to turn around. Somebody say, turn it around, oh God, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, turn it around. Oh, Jesus. Johnson, I speak to your marriage right now. There shall be that affection that will return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that affection. Johnson, in your marriage for the past three months, you have actually not been intimate with your wife. There has not been intimacy in that relationship. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, turn it around, oh God. My God, I've not even begun to teach, but it is well. Let the Spirit of the Lord release healings all around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it around, oh God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody who wants to confirm, feel free to confirm. I know some of the things are too, too painful because it's like you are embarrassed and say, God, my situation is so bad. I cannot even, you, you, you have been even feeling shame because you can't even tell your in-laws what is happening in your house. I pray for your marital settlement, right? In Jesus' mighty name. Kathy, I know you feel like your marriage is a disaster. My God, may the Lord heal your marriage in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Kathy, for confirming. Thank you, Lord, for that confirmation. And as you confess that you receive this word, Kathy, may God cause an, a massive turnaround for you. In Jesus' mighty name, yes, you have not even been communicating. I see it. I see it. You can't even talk. There's, you can't even finish a sentence together. You, you, it's just, you, you can't communicate. It's like you're talking cross purposes. Somebody shout, turn it around. Thank you to all those who are everybody who's following the broadcast. Lorato, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is what I want you to do. I don't want you to go buy anything that has been prayed for by anybody else. I want you to take salt, my darling, the coarse one, and you soak it in water. After this broadcast is finished, or if you want, you can actually go fetch a bowl and put, if you have coarse salt in your house, if you don't, you'll get it later. 
and I want you to sit in that water and soak in that water for three hours. You will never experience that swelling in your leg again in Jesus' mighty name. And as you are soaking in that water, you are going to turn up the music, praise and worship. You're going to pray. You're going to prophesy to those legs. You're going to prophesy to that water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command every impurity, every infection, my God, to leave that body in the name of Jesus Christ. The lady that I just gave an instruction to concerning your, your swollen feet, is it Kathy? Kathy, I want you to start looking after your kidneys very well. Shakura bahasa takadia bahasa. Part two, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you tap in and you do the same thing in the name of Jesus Christ. That person who's also having the swollen feet, he must do the same thing and lay hands on himself. And if that person is not able to do it, you do it for them. Lay hands on their head every single day. You command that headache to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I want to ask you, do not confess dying. We don't take words are not light. We don't do casual words that are negative. Because you will prophesy and you will do that. That thing will happen. If you continue to say, I'm dying of that infection, you will definitely die. And I command that negative talk to stop right now in Jesus' mighty name. No longer will you confess negatively concerning your health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need you to declare and say, God, you are turning around my situation. Okay, you are the one who's not going to your matrimonial house anymore. Please go back. Please, I want you to spend the next three days. If you need to, you are on Mara Official. If you have a place that you can be quiet, where you will not be able to talk to anybody else, where nobody is going to influence your decision, where nobody is going to be... All I want you to go and do is to sit and listen to the word and read your Bible and pray. I don't want you to be... I don't want you to listen to your family members. I don't want you to listen to your friends. I don't want you to take anybody's opinion. And tell me in three days if the Lord has not confirmed that you have to go back to your marital home. Chosen one, you are, you are welcome to do the same thing. Chosen one, in fact, the Lord says you must do a three-day fast in the name of Jesus Christ. Odeye, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that you are being lifted out up, out of that, that situation. I command the bullying to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the racism to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Those of you who are, who are saying you are joining the fast for the next three days, from six to six, if you can do it, total dry fast. If you, if you are on any medication, please do not go on the dry fast without consulting with your doctor. You will not take any water from six to six. If you can stretch it, stretch it afterwards. But I see that there's a lot of people who are having issues with their feet and your, your feet. And this is what I'm saying. I'm saying you're going to have to do a change of diet concerning your kidneys because your kidneys are being affected. They are sending a message to you. God is saying, I am sending a message. It's a, a pre-warning. You're going to have to do a lot of lifestyle changes. This is very simple. I just want you to take coarse salt, coarse, the, the rough salt. Don't go buy it from any herbalist. Don't go buy it from any, any mystical shop. Just your ordinary grocery shop. And for the next three days, as you are sitting around, you just put your, that's, you pray for the salt and you put it in the water. You command what you need to see the salt doing. That, that, uh, even for the toes, yes, Rose. 
you pray for that salt and you this is the same way that you would have used your anointing oil your point of contact this week in that three days is gonna be that coarse salt that you're gonna soak in and you're gonna be praying whether you do it for 30 minutes i know sometimes some of you will not have three uh, three hours consistently uh to sit around but the lord is gonna turn it around you're gonna return with the testimony in three days the swelling is going to go down and there's one person who's having a what do they call this disease elephant type oh God. You, you, i hope you get me the elephant type somebody who knows how to type it in the comment section please say it i don't know how to pronounce it Father, I speak to that disease right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a name that is above every other name in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you and I confirm and I stand in agreement for Stanley's healing in Jesus' mighty name. Your healing, your medical condition is, is elephanti elephant elephantitis. Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you for confirming that for me. I command healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command healing on that on that foot in Jesus mighty name. Thank you guys for confirming what it is. I'm speaking to that person right now in Jesus mighty name. I want you to lay hands on yourself right now in Jesus mighty name. Karabashata kadia masoto kodia mahasa la koria basanda kadia basa takadie shekete kedia mahasa somebody say father turn my sorrow into joy in the name of jesus christ i prophesy that the glory of the lord shall be your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ this is the day that the lord is made and you will rejoice and be glad in it because i am changing things around in the name of jesus christ you will start seeing the beauty in your life turn my sorrow into joy lord father they are here crying and we are here crying my god because we are believing that you're going to turn our situations around lord let our our joy come back my god whatever has dried up your sorrow your your life whatever has dried up your life whatever type of sorrow my god i command it to be dried up whatever has been drying up your life i command it to be dried up in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit i thank you for changing the situations let the rivers of joy flow in your life in Jesus mighty name let the rivers of joy begin to flow in your life in Jesus mighty name who bathed you there was a portion where you went for a cleansing you went for a cleansing. I don't know whether I'm seeing a whole pool of water. I'm seeing water around you and you were cleansed. But in that process, your star was being taken away because your level of, of intelligence, there was a drop. You, you felt like I'm not the person that I used to be. Is in Jesus' mighty name, every single pain stops in Jesus' mighty name. Nonkululabo, I don't know whether you have a recollection of this, but you were taken to a stream and you were bathed at that stream. Turn it around, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Turn it around. God bless everybody who's gifted. Thank you so much. God bless you. So, Nongulelago, you're confirming that was done. That is exactly when your destiny was exchanged. You, you suffered. You suffered. It's because of what, my God, Father. I speak right now to Nongulelago's. Oh, Karama Shata Kande Seke Namakode Abasa. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around, oh God. Jesus, I'm trying to pin this because I want to shame the devil. I want to shame the devil this morning. 
I want to shame the devil this morning. Father, every incantation, every covenant that was made over Nonkulego's life, restricting her progress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single thing that was used to bathe you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus washes it off you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nkuli, I want you to open up your hands and receive right now like never before with an anger in your heart that will resonate and you say, Father God, I free myself. I break every covenant. <coughs> every foundation of evil that I was connected with. My God, I break you loose from that marine kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will live out the meaning of your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to experience a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to start being sharp in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see that even mentally things are going to be different. You're going to have a fresh zeal. You're going to have a fresh zeal. Even in the area of education, of learning new things, you're going to have a fresh zeal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever they pulled over your face, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, when they were doing that cleansing, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I remove it. It wasn't for protection. They were actually making you to be suppressed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord. I send your blood of the blood of Jesus right now to come into contact with Nonkululego. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be a cleansing. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The devil can try and even strangle me. You will not succeed, devil. In Jesus' name. Oh, Shakura Bahasata. I'm going to have to close early, guys, today because I have services still to come through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I speak because there are some people that you are not confessing right now, right? You, you are not... You need to have tapped in as I'm, 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 I've, I've been praying for Nonkulego. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I know that you thought it was for good because your, some of your friends took you to some places... Don't make me call your name. I'm going to call your names just now. I can hear the Lord is going to give me names. It's a few names that are going to come around. You went because they said it is for your, your you wanted luck. You wanted things to change and the, your friends convinced you. Yes. Your friends convinced you that it was a cleansing to give you luck in the area of finances. Makura Bashata. Who am I talking to? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, every single thing. Every single thing that they've tried to use as a limitation. Father, we free ourselves, my God. I free every single person who has come into contact with the marine kingdom, my God, knowingly or unknowingly. Maybe you were negligent, you did not understand, and you thought you were, they were meaning it for your good. The Lord is reversing what was said. The Lord is reversing what was done in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for those who are also on Facebook and on YouTube in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Faris in Jesus' mighty name. Bruce in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord turn it around for you in Jesus' mighty name. Faris, I command a turnaround in your life. Chido, I command a turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I did not realize there's so many of you on YouTube as well. Father, I thank you for a turnaround in Kelvin's life in Jesus' mighty name. Maureen, my city, so I command a total healing. Maureen, I had a word of, for you earlier, my God. Shakura Mashanda, I speak favor. I speak favor in Jesus' mighty name. Nadine Thomas, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak a turnaround. You have been believing God for a financial turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. Maureen Matidi, so in the name of Jesus Christ from Free State. 
I speak favor into your life. I, I speak a turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. Makoria Basanda. A complete overhaul is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ as you tap in. Uchenna Collins, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as you tap in. My God, I see a total family deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Nadine Thomas. I command healing to come into your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Shakura Bahasa Takadia Bahasa. Bukiwa Juliet, Juliet, thank you so much for coming through. I've been waiting for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that the eyes of Juliet are opened in Jesus' mighty name. Father, everything that is an obstacle in that relationship, Father God, show it to her. Father God, I ask for a portal to be opened of revelation of what is going on in her relationship to be visible and seen in Jesus' mighty name. I speak, my God. In Jesus' mighty name, Karabasha Takadia. Amora Kish, as you are tapping in, as you are praying for yourself and your children right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak favor and as a turnaround, my God, I speak. Amora, I break every foundational curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I Makoraba Shonda Kaliama Sanda, Stanislas Banda. There are words that have been spoken against you from a family member's side. There's been a lot of bickering. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you said every tongue that rises against us, in, we, will, we will condemn. Any tongue that rises to rise in judgment, you will condemn. Father, I speak into stanceless life right now. I command that, Lord, every single negative word, every gossip, every 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 form of trying to suppress him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I speak an uplifting out from that situation. My God, he will not be snared and he will not be held down and limited by the words that are negative that have been spoken in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command protection all around in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sorrow that has been because of a delayed marriage right now, I command it to be turned to joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. We need to wrap up very soon. Every sorrow of disappointment in every relationship, I commanded to receive joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every sorrow of sickness and I say, Lord, let it be turned uh, into healing in Jesus' mighty name. I command every sorrow of sickness, anybody who's sick in your body right now, I want you to lay hands on your body right now. This is a turning point for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your turning point. This is the point where you are going to experience significant changes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. My God, the Lord is wiping away your tears in Jesus' mighty name. The word of the Lord that I'm hearing in my spirit, he says, I shall wipe away your tears from, from your eyes. And I decree and I declare that there shall be no more death. Fortune, tell them I'm wiping away their tears. There will be no more sorrow. There will be no more crying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Neither shall there be any more pain in Jesus' mighty name. He says, for the former things have passed away. Every form of sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been going into deep distress. You have been sad because there's been a loss. Somebody lost. You lost a loved one. And you have been in this distress and it's you are actually entering your third year now you still can't get over the loss misty i command your deliverance now in jesus mighty name there's somebody who's feeling sorrow i miss that testimony oh my god in the name of jesus christ Dr. Uzi, may the Lord help you find your way back in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord, that body, yes, Malusana is a temple of God. It's not a house of sickness. Thank you so much. Guys, keep on declaring and say, God, turn it around. Speak to your temple and say, God, this is the temple of God. I will not tolerate any sickness. There is no sickness in the temple of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for turning it around. Sorrow has been turned around into joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabasunda Kariahasa. Mapula. 
Thank you for that confirmation. And as you have confirmed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak deliverance to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing to your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, Ngore, Ngore Dek, um, I'm not understanding the rest of, uh, I can't pronounce that name of that office, but thank you for confirming that whatever document was approved. Thank you so much. God bless you. I celebrate with you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, Mara official. Keep on declaring, turning it around. I don't know what you want God to turn around, but God is saying he is turning around everything that you lost as a result of that job loss. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is turning it around. Somebody was about to have a miscarriage. You have been having cramps because, but you are saying, Pastor Fortune, I have no, I'm not yet due. I was not supposed to be having cramps, but I've been having cramps for the past two, three days, and I'm worried. I've been starting to get stressed because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to have a miscarriage. Carriage. I speak to that body right now. I speak to that child. I speak to that womb right now. I command it right now. You will not have a miscarriage in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to it right now. Somebody come on, turn around. Turn around your loneliness. Turn around your financial situation. Command the financial breakthrough to spring forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as you did it for Hannah, my God, Hannah was barren and she had no child because and, and, and she had not offended anyone. Father, I speak to that person that is believing you for a child, for the fruit of the womb right now. I command my God that that womb, my God, shall be indeed fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. That financial breakthrough, I didn't see your name, but I, you you just commented on Fortune L online. You are working, but you're not seeing the fruits of your labor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Karaba Masata. Gwando Safo, please do me a favor. If you are seeing it in the dream, can you please send it on an inbox? Because today I don't want to do any dream interpretation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the, our normal session where we are praying. We are supposed to have closed by six. We are already 14 minutes over. But I'm just doing this for those who are still here as the spirit leads. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Keep on tapping on the screen. God bless you, Kadiatu. Guys, everybody, tap on the screen. Make sure you send those likes up, guys. Come on, talk to me. Makura Bashanda, every customer that must locate every person who's in a business right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kariaba Sonda, I command that bronchitis to come out from you, Linda, in the name of Jesus Christ right now. I command healing on that bronchitis in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that healing on that bronchitis. That bronchitis is uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Vin, receive that, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. You will start seeing growth in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord open up your eyes and give you creation ideas on how you will move forward in your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit I thank you guys please make sure you are following the platform you are watching me on before you leave this platform in Jesus mighty name do not leave until I share the final grace and we part our ways but you go and do and you can go and, and, and re-listen to the replay of this uh, broadcast on my YouTube channel or on the YouTube channel that you are watching from everybody who's on that YouTube make sure you like and you comment and you are also welcome to also explore other videos in the name of Jesus Christ those of you who have been suffering repeated cycles, I encourage you to watch the, 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 the broadcast that we just had at our all night prayer on Friday. And the one before that, that dealt with foundations, that you need to deal with certain things from your foundational background in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that is blocking you is being removed in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever evil spiritual force that has been fighting you right now, I command it to live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, if you ask anything in his name, he will do it. Ask it in his name. He doesn't want somebody who wants to have options for other things. 
and other people. God bless you. Welcome, first time in the name of Jesus Christ. Quality, may the blessings increase. Thank you so much for that testimony that you already feel blessed. May the Lord show you changes in your life in this week alone. May you experience unmerited favor, uncommon favor. You will have favor with God and men. You will know that you came into contact as you start this week because you, we came into contact. This is a divine appointment. And I'm telling you that God is going to show you wonders. In the next seven days, yesterday I started asking God for an uncommon breakthrough favor that is going to manifest every single day. There's going to be a, a reason that you will be rejoicing. And you it's going to be like a total explosion of joy. My God. Thank you for giving that person peace in the midst of their storm right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we acknowledge your presence. Is somebody feeling the presence of the Lord in this place? He says, I inhabit the praises of my people. If you are feeling the presence of the Lord, I would do good and to say thank you. And you say, praise you, Lord Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. Ephraim, I pray for your problems at your workplace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is going to blow your mind this week. Guys, I don't know how, how, how desperate. And this one, I'm not even going to put some of you on an instruction to do fasting and all these things. But you're going to do your own fast by yourself. You're going to feel the yearning because you are, you are yearning for a major breakthrough. A blow your mind type of testimony. Every single day, every 5 a.m., I'm on this broadcast. Every 5 a.m., every single weekday, you're going to come in and tell me of the testimonies of a mind-blowing testimony. What did I say? A mind-blowing testimony. Somebody type in the comment section and say, Blow my mind, God. Blow my mind, God. Blow my mind. Blow my mind. Blow my mind this week. In this new week that we are about to step, step into. Blow my mind. The word, as the word has gone on, every prophetic word that I've declared over this broadcast to everybody who has been under the sound of my voice, the Lord is saying the entrance of my word has brought light into your life. And that light, my God, every single form of darkness has disappeared. With everything that you have heard today, you will not be able to forget it. I know there are people who are forgettable, but you're not going to forget me. You're not going to forget what I said at least. Blow my mind, God. Let that husband return home in Jesus' mighty name. Blow our minds, oh God. In the next seven days, I want you to focus with every everything, every ounce in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who's, has, who's that person with, who the husband has left? I want you to give yourself a timeline in the next seven days. If he hasn't called, inbox. But I'm telling you in the next seven days, expect that call in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to study the word of God every single day. I want you to meditate on it. Get a scripture, meditate and pray. God is going to blow your mind. Come on, somebody, come on. Let's declare it again and say, turn it around as we close. My God. Lord, let me, let, let me experience joy every second. The devil does not want you to experience the joy that, he, that the Lord has in store for you. Father, I come against every failure that is trying to bring them down in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Kadi. Kadiatu. May the Lord cause an acceleration on that thing that you're believing him for in Jesus' mighty name. I speak expansion in your finances as you have sowed in my life and as you have sowed in this ministry, as you have sowed on this altar. May favor continue to speak up, speak in your life. Every single person that has sowed into my life has been sowing into this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now. May your names never leave my prayers in Jesus name. J as Tobile, may your names never leave my lips in the name of Jesus Christ. I command a breakthrough, Big J, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anaga Bengele, I command a big, big breakthrough, real deal in Jesus' mighty name. Pepena, Claudia, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I command a breakthrough in your finances. Isabel, I command a breakthrough. Kadiatu, in the name of Jesus Christ, Narutu, the same way that I always say you must pray for your destiny, help us to lose sleep. Lady Apostle, God bless you. Blessing to may the Lord cause me to not sleep until I have mentioned your names and I have given thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Karabasho to Kodiasa. Prudence, may, may, may the Lord bother me with your name every single day. I don't take you for granted. I don't take it for granted in Jesus' mighty name. I don't come here with any sense of entitlement. But for a man to be released, a man or a woman to be released to give of their finances and make that sacrifice, I know that it can only be God. So I'm grateful. And I pray for you. And I pray for the finances of your family. Zamashusha, Queen Man. Um, some of your names are not complete there on the screen. But I pray for you. Ngala Fortune, I pray for you. The Bible says that the, those that bless you with spiritual food, you must also bless them, right? And I don't take it for granted because I know that every single seed, you didn't sow the seeds necessarily for the things that you were believing for uh, in terms of saying God, but you were saying, God, let her continue. My God, I want to be a blessing. I want to be part of your next move. I want to be part of your next shift. I want to be part of the next level. And I want to say thank you and I pray for those people, even those that sowed those seeds and those seeds that you were, you, were so, you were sowing in tears. May the Lord expand you and meet you at the point of your knees. May the Lord grant you your request in Jesus' mighty name. And I know that, that is a, it's coming from a point of sacrifice where the devil does not want you to sacrifice. So I thank everybody for every offering, everything that has been shared this morning. So I implore everybody who's at the sound of my voice that in this week you pray with all your heart and you have faith in God and whatsoever you ask in his name, he shall grant it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I close, I pray for every single person on this broadcast and I pray, my God, turn every sorrow into joy, in unspeakable joy. Somebody say unspeakable joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, as we begin to close, Father, I pray for every single gift of my God. Make sure that, Lord, that they, uh, they will have and common testimony and speakable testimony in their finances as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father I speak to every source of sorrow and I command it to dry up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for that person that subscribed on Mara official God bless you for welcome to the team every single subscriber in Jesus mighty name may you never know lack in Jesus mighty name Lindisa may you never know lack in Jesus mighty name may the Lord change your situation in Jesus mighty name may the Lord lead you to the rivers of joy rivers of endless joy in Jesus mighty name. I decree and I declare that the fountains of sorrow have dried up in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Mutoni, the fountain of, of sorrow has dried up in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is your strength and the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. <coughs> For everybody that has followed and that has come in to be part of this prayer family, I want to say thank you. And I command sorrow in your life to be dried up. And, and I command that there shall be a turnaround. You will be entering your joy season. You are shifting to your joy level right now in Jesus' mighty name. I want to say thank you. God bless every single person who's part of this team. In Jesus' mighty name. I declare an end to every single disappointment that you have been going through, Jada. In the name of Jesus Christ, Sarah Narutu. Thank you, Sarah, for coming through. In Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been giving you sorrow, anything that has been making you feel disappointed, anything that has been giving you a sense of regret right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I declare an end to that thing in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to every inherited circle of sorrow, whether it was inherited by a curse or inherited because of sabotage, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I command it to dry up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, turn it around. Father, I pray for that person who has been bitter. I ask, Lord, that you take away every single form of bitterness in their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak to... The, 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 the prophetic warning that I'm getting has to do with bitterness. And the Lord is saying, 
if you are not careful that bitterness will become cancerous I'm speaking to a, a specific lady right now in fact I saw three names but the first lady that I'm speaking to is because you are so angry about what your spouse has done and you've been harboring so much bitterness God bless you Shay thank you so much for becoming a subscriber you have been harboring so much bitterness inside of you and the Lord says release the bitterness because it's about to cause you cancer of the breast if you're not careful you are attracting a cancer so I speak to every single person that is going through a season of bitterness I need you to repent from that bitterness and say, God, take away every form of bitterness in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, take away every form of bitterness for anybody on YouTube and on Facebook right now. Lord, take away every form of bitterness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give them the empowerment to overcome every single form of tribulation and trials that they've been going through that has been causing them pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare to every single person that is at the sound of my voice, welcome Thelma, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that your joy shall multiply and you will receive unlimited favor as we step into the new week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy into your life that nothing shall be impossible for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are in Christ and the anointed one will make sure that nothing will be impossible for you. My God, God is going to do all things that you were not able to do. It's not by your limitation. Deborah I didn't know that I, that it's already taken root Father I speak to Deborah right now in Jesus mighty name I ask for mercy Father I ask for mercy I ask for any reversal of any potential cancer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deborah, when you are going to check, I need you to just release yourself and be at peace. All forms of bitterness. I want you to release it. And I want you... They might think it. They might contemplate seeing it. They might contemplate seeing it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command your healing in Jesus' mighty name. I need us to pray for Deborah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against that cancer in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot that cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakoriaba unspeakable mercy unspeakable mercy speak for her, my god i know she was hurt oh god but take away that bitterness in the name of jesus christ thank you lord that cancer will not return you didn't know my sweetheart it was because of your pain i understand but his blood speaks better his blood is able to heal you in jesus mighty name do you hear I didn't know that it had already happened but the Lord is giving you another chance I believe that is he's giving you another chance because it's like it was trying to return the bitterness was returning because you were now starting to meditate on the past on the things that were not working and when you were trying to meditate on those things guys you you must stop triggering the past that which God had healed you they had caught the cancer the first time right now i speak to it right now in jesus mighty name it shall not return it will not return i stand in agreement with you that you will not go back to that place father give her peace total peace in the mighty name of jesus christ give her total peace total peace total peace total peace in the mighty name of jesus christ let there be total healing in jesus mighty name oh thank you jesus Let the Spirit of the Lord lead every single person who's at the sound of my, my voice.
Let it lead you to unlimited success, unlimited failure in your life in this week and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will experience unlimited success, unlimited favor as you're stepping into the month of August and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you. I prophesy that favor shall reign in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Sally, that is your word, my angel. My, that is your word. You are receiving favor that is unspeakable. You are receiving un unlimited success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fact that you're on this broadcast is because God is confirming it in Jesus' mighty name that you came and you have received your word. God bless you, Grace, in Jesus' mighty name. My God, as I speak, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, as we step into this week, my God, I command that we will be at the right place at the right time for favor to speak to us in Jesus' mighty name and to speak for us. My God, I dismantle every opposition that will be trying to fight us, my God, even that those that have been fighting us even today in Jesus' mighty name as we close this broadcast. Everybody here, my God, is gonna live here lifted. Every burden is lifted. You are lighter. You are actually feeling lighter already in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Jada. I prophesy to you and I say that those who rejected you will soon open doors for you because it will be a puzzling thing because they rejected you, but they are the same people who are going to be opening doors for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command miracles that will bring people to, 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 to you and, and, and miracles that, 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 that people will be seeing on you will make people go to Christ and they will locate themselves in Christ because they will see that you serve a God that lives. <coughs> Amen. Receive total favor and victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command that there shall be a manifestation of answers. There shall be a manifestation of answers to all your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that you will experience the fullness of joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we close today. My God, from today and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. That we will abide in your presence, Father God. We will follow your principles and your word, my God so that our joy may be full and my God we thank you Lord we are living in a joy dimension my God and miracles will happen in that joy dimension Father God we declare and we decree that we are for signs and wonders and joy is the platform that we will be living in that will activate those signs and wonders my God make us signs and wonders so that people can be attracted to who you are and be attracted to this kingdom my God we declare a kingdom expansion my God I declare that every single person that is on this broadcast they are coming into your kingdom and they are staying permanently. They shall not be evicted by any devil that tries to confuse them. I speak to every demon thing that has been trying to suppress you, oppress you in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot it. I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, help them to take their blessings right now in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever has been trying to take away their blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. You have delivered people from the mind of procrastination. Those who have been suffering from procrastination, you are delivered in Jesus mighty name. The Lord is dis delivering you from a spirit of laziness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, thank you Lord that you are crossing a great shift that will catapult them to their God for ordained destiny in Jesus mighty name. You are being catapulted to your God-ordained destiny. Your God is shifting you. He's saying, I'm shifting you. You are being catapulted. You don't have to go through. You don't have to, to, to tarry. He says, I am positioning you automatically to your point of destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, you will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you have turned our mourning into dancing. In Jesus' mighty name, things have turned around. We will dance right now. Somebody begin to dance exactly where you are and rejoice to the Lord. Father, thank Thank you lord that you have crowned us with glory <coughs> let the crown of glory locate you jada let the crown of glory locate you brown let the crown of glory locate you tevin everybody on face of facebook and youtube i want you to declare with me right now and say let the crown of glory locate me every darkness around you flees right now let the crown of glory locate you sarah in the mighty name of jesus christ I decree that as Jesus is the light of the world, your light will also so shine. Your light will not be hidden under a bushel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has positioned you on a mountaintop so that you can experience mountaintop experiences in Jesus mighty name that you will remember that you are the head in the name of Jesus Christ. I like that person who's dancing on Mara official. God bless you. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that there is no power that is hiding in darkness that is going to try and steal this joy away and this dance away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command a stop to every single affliction in your life. Anybody who has been afflicting you, anybody who has been monitoring you as a monitoring spirit and wishing be bad on you, envying you and wishing evil upon you, right now they will be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will open up your spiritual eyes to see who has been the, the one orchestrating evil against you in Jesus' mighty name. Anna Malefe, in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been trying to disgrace you, I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that thing that has been trying to shame you in Jesus' mighty name. Every altar of darkness in your father's house, in your mother's house that has been trying to afflict any single person on this broadcast, I command it to catch fire. I release joy for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I break every single association with the kingdom of darkness to everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice. Anybody who has come into association with the kingdom of darkness, I release them from it in Jesus' mighty name. Every darkness that you have been experiencing in your workplace, it is leaving in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been trying to overshadow your light and your shining from the enemy's camp, right now it's uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that the glory that you has been stolen from you, it is coming out. You are coming out and shining right now. The glory has returned. You will arise in glory in Jesus' mighty name. I nullify every single form of judgment in the kingdom of darkness against your joy. I command joy. Can somebody command joy? Can you declare that I have joy in my life in the name of Jesus Christ? Calamity and sorrow has been silenced. Thank you, Jesus, because you are our everlasting joy. Can you thank him for everlasting joy? Father, I thank you for every single person that is tuned in in this broadcast today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to those who are on Facebook. I speak to those who are on YouTube. I speak to those who are on TikTok as well. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, for everlasting joy. Can you just thank him for everlasting joy and just say thank you for everlasting joy as we close? Father, I thank you, Lord, for every single thing that you have used me to carry out this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as I release them, oh God, I thank you, Lord, that the grace of God will follow them, my God. I thank you, Lord, that mercy and goodness shall be their portion every single day of their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, everlasting joy is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mam Chido, everlasting joy is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, Oraba Korea Masanda, Faris, Sne, everlasting joy for you. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Jesus. Everybody on YouTube, everlasting joy, Muhammad, in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak everlasting joy in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ and in your family. Emmanuel Ayisi, every single person on YouTube, every single person on TikTok. I have to close now, but I believe that you have received and I'm looking forward to hearing those testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you drop those testimonies on the videos that you are seeing on the screen on TikTok. Make sure you are inboxing on Instagram and on Facebook, wherever you find my handle, my name is Fortune. It's Pastor Fortune, and I think that's the nickname they call it. But my handle is Fortune L Online. I'm gonna come in into the TikTok right now. I'll give you the handles and the two accounts that I want you to follow uh, after this on YouTube. When you click on my name or on the picture on TikTok, you click on it, you click on the icon that says Instagram and you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on YouTube, you can send me a message on Instagram, you can also follow on YouTube, please, and subscribe and click on the like button. You can watch the replay of this broadcast. Again, I want to say thank you to all the financial partners, the subscribers, the gifters, everybody, all the love that you're saying, my prayer partners, my intercessors, every single person that has become part of this family everybody that has followed this broadcast I will continue to pray for you and I will continue to intercede for you that is my job and I know that God has called me to it in Jesus mighty name every prophetic word that has been spoken it shall come to pass and nobody's gonna steal it nobody's gonna uproot it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare you are blessed and you are blessed and you are blessed in Jesus mighty name let the crown of favor locate you in Jesus mighty name God bless you Facebook and on um, YouTube I'm gonna uh, stop the stream now but I want to say thank you i honor you thank you for the time that you have given me to be in your houses in your cars and let favor locate you as you go on go on with uh worshiping today whether you're going to a, a worship house whether you're joining our online church services as well um whatever you do just make sure you are soaking yourself in the lord nobody's gonna steal this word from you it's gonna be sealed it's gonna happen it's done it's done it's done you are awesome don't forget to be awesome i see you tomorrow 5 a.m there is no 10 o'clock broadcast tonight okay god bless you